Hi everybody, this is Andrew. Um, today we're going to be playing a little bit of Kerbal Space Program. Um, I picked this game up a few weeks ago and I've been playing around with it a little bit. Um, so I figured it's time to show you how far I've gotten so far, which is not very far. Um, for p anybody watching who's not really familiar with this game, it's more or less a simulator game. Um, there's not it's not really goal oriented except for the goals you make yourself and basically it's a procedurally generated solar system with these little guys and you can uh, build your own spacecraft and aircraft and then fly them um, to moons and other planets and so forth and uh, it's uh, realistic physics um, so it's pretty challenging and you definitely have to uh, know and understand a little bit about um, how to navigate and um, a lot of advanced stuff that I haven't really gotten that far yet. Basically all I've been trying to do is just achieve flight and not crash whatever I built right away and uh, you know so uh, I'll show you my uh, latest creation which is pretty awful. Um, and you can actually, um, they do come with some preloaded ones on here, so you can do like this, and, you know, this is sort of just to show you what something might look like if you were really good at the game. Well, I mean, maybe this is very basic design here, but, uh, you know, this is like kind of what you're shooting for is, uh, something that can fly. <laughs> um, and so let's see, I think the first one that I ever actually got to fly is this guy, and instead of a so basically, um, you have all these parts to choose from, and they can be arranged in virtually any way you can possibly imagine. Um, it's really uh, pretty limitless and pretty good about um, predicting how the thing is going to fly based on how you build it. Um, so yeah, let's just to load another example here. So these are this is the plane uh, hangar I'm in, but I can also go to the spacecraft or rocket hangar more or less and uh, like this is the stock basically the Kerbal's equivalent of a Saturn V give or take uh, maybe a little bit smaller than a Saturn V not not as many stages as a Saturn V but basically um, so this is sort of what you would want to build and then along the side here you can actually um, sort of script the order in which you want the different stages to come off and like if you look very closely here there's a little decoupler mechanism and so when I'm on that this little guy six of these decouplers I guess is what that indicates um, and so then when when it's time to get rid of these booster rockets when they run out of fuel or overheat um, they should come right off so we'll launch this guy just uh, kind of show you how it's done and we won't do it for a while and yeah there's debris on the launch pad that's not that surprising because uh, even with the pre-made design it's pretty hard to uh, actually um, you gotta still have to time it right and as you can see you really need to um, be paying attention to your telemetry that doesn't do anything gears that's supposed to be landing gear but it doesn't matter anyway so I'm gonna use press the shift key here and put my throttle all the way up and then I'm gonna light these let's see one which engines are gonna light basically three three pairs of booster rockets and one and the main engine are gonna fire and then moments later it's gonna we're gonna decouple the uh, the little struts here and then from there well you'll get the idea and uh, the goal, I, I mean, the goal in this case, I guess, is to get as high as you can and then parachute back down. Um, I guess, you know, you could use this rocket as a model and you could add different modules onto it if you wanted to um, achieve something else with it. But I'm not that far along, so we're just going to see what happens when I launch it. And I'm going to watch the fuel very closely here. Uh, basically, I'm not really going to have to do anything as far as... Oh, so those ones are done. And uh, if you let go of the uh, rocket before, I'm just going to adjust my, whoop, that's the wrong way. I'm going to pitch up. 
using WASD, Q and E to do pitch roll and yaw here. So I didn't let those ones go. And I really waited too long. You really want to... Oh god. So it doesn't take m much of a one bad keystroke like that. And you can get totally out of whack. Um, and uh, I don't really know how to fix that. That's pretty bad. Uh, little... Uh, oh god. Yeah, so... This isn't really going particularly well this time because I'm not really paying as much attention as I should be. And yeah, this thing's gonna go ass over tea kettle here in a second. Um, it shouldn't, we shouldn't be wobbling that much. So, but once you get into a wobble like that, I don't know. I can try turning on the RCS, which is like the, uh, I have to, let's see, I have it. Yeah, basically a micro thrust, but I don't think that's gonna help. So we can try turning on the uh, SAS, but I don't think that's going to do anything either. I don't really know what those things do yet very well. And yeah, now we're, we're now we're really screwed. Oh my god. So yeah, we're just going to end it here, because I think you know what's going to Well, okay. We'll just... Can I just make the next stage happen? I guess I can't. Can I abort? Should let me. No. I can't abort. Mm. My guys are looking a little worried, which I would be too in this situation. So we're just going to end that uh... because i think you probably get the idea and this is we're gonna keep this video short because i'm lazy feeling lazy today i don't really want to do too much building um... but i'll show you the farthest i've gotten along so far in terms of building a craft that can fly and what i'd really like to do is be able to make this guy fly and then whoop, turn it around whoop i didn't mean to do that oh i hope i can reattach this <laughs> it should it should not be a problem. It's a little still, like, the building aspects of the game are still a little... This game is still in beta. Um, you know, and it's still kind of annoying. Anyway, we'll just reload. I don't know what's going on there. Um, so, basically, instead of having an actual um, command module or cockpit, just got this little sliver in here. It's just a, a remote guidance unit because I don't feel like sacrificing any little Kerbin's lives um, on this craft that barely flies. So just the nose cone. Um, this is a little just a fuselage, um, two fuel tanks, and basically a jet engine. And this is a air intake there. So basically, this thing is just a rocket with wings. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> it's not much to look at, and uh, it barely flies, but um, this is the best I've done so far, and we've got two little fins uh, for control there. Mm, and some struts just for stability, though. I don't really think they're strictly necessary. Um, so yeah, certainly not fancy, and there was something I wanted to do just for fun here. Let's see, I know there was like a... That's interesting, I can put a thermometer on it. I wonder what that does. I mean, <laughs> other than, you know what I mean. Um, you know what it does, but why would you want to take the temperature is the question, I guess. Um, and I thought there was like a... What I really wanted to do is put some more lights on it, just, just kind of for fun. But I have to find them, so give me a second here. Landing struts. Shouldn't need that. Shouldn't need a parachute because there's nobody flying on this thing. I'm just kind of missing where those were. So give me a second here. Mm. No, it's awfully strange that I can't seem to find it. <sighs> That's annoying. I really wanted to put some lights on it. <laughs> Illuminaria. Yeah, they don't really. That doesn't really look like lights. Anyway, let's put. You know, putting the lights there might make it less aerodynamic. So this will be a little bit of an experiment, and uh, it's first time for everything. So let's put some lights underneath there too. It shouldn't affect anything. Let's see how those go on. Yeah, that should be okay. I can rotate them around a little bit. way I want them. 
That might be okay. So we'll save that. We'll overwrite some of our old ones that didn't really work out. And let's uh, just demonstrate for you guys. Um, so yeah, this is nothing more than a rocket, really. Um, it's barely. Yeah, let's turn the lights on. Yeah. Now we're now we're looking like a real spacecraft here. <laughs> of sorts, not spacecraft, really aircraft, because this thing is not going to get into space. The f I think last time I got about here before the engine stalled out, so it doesn't have enough air going to it. I'm not really sure why it stalls out when it doesn't have enough air. So let's... am I moving? I am moving. That's weird. Yeah, I don't know why I'm moving forward a little bit there. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm top heavy, or, um, yeah, all right, anyway, uh, what I'd really like to do is just launch and then be able to turn around and land back on this runway. So what's the heading of this runway is, I can't really see, 90? It should say on the runway what the heading is for the runway. No, no, yeah, 90, so see if I can get up to around that. So yeah, I can fly. I'm actually gaining altitude quite rapidly, actually. Um, I guess when I get, I don't know how far out I should get before I should turn around. Ooh, and I better keep climbing here. It's a lot to pay attention to at once. That's kind of the thing. I guess that's how it would be if you were actually a pilot though, right? put our gearing up here so we don't uh, go all over the place. Oh, this thing actually flies decently. It's stable. It, you know, this might be a little bit heavy on the top. Actually, it wasn't really doing that before, so that might actually be the effect of the lights, making it kind of dip down a little bit more than it was before. Um, I can probably do a barrel roll here. <laughs> Uh, though I'm a little hesitant to do so. Um, yeah, let's do a barrel roll here. Should be okay. And, ooh, maybe not. So, hopefully I can straighten this out. And get back to the heading I was at. Probably not. I don't really know what I'm doing. I haven't really figured out yet how to kind of make it go the way... I don't really understand, uh how to turn very well. So, come on. I'm going to get back to 90, and then let's rotate down. Okay, so that's about the same heading we were on before. Yeah. So really, you know what we should try? We should try to do like a loop instead of trying to kind of, I'm not sure what you would call, let's try to like get upside down and then uh, roll. That's going to be hard to do, but this thing should be capable of going straight up, so if we are very careful here, we should be able to do it. Basically, when I get here, uh, I lost track of which way I was going. Okay. Yeah, that worked. It didn't quite work out perfectly. No, yeah, I didn't leave myself really enough room to get back. So, let's try that again. Let's go back this way and get back to... Ooh, I think that was... Oh, shit. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on here. Let's just, uh... I'm, ta I'm taxing the engine too much. Okay, stop that. That's really bad. I don't know why it's doing that. But we really need to pitch back up here. Get out of this dive. <laughs> losing 200 feet. Of s I don't know if that's per second or meters per second that I'm losing there, but we don't want to be doing that. So let's strain ourselves out. What's our heading? Oh, we're back on 90. So, okay. We saved ourselves a little bit. Um... <laughs> Yeah, let's go out a little bit farther this time, and then try 
try to do a loop to loop again. And uh, yeah, that's not a lot of room to work with, so we need to get a little bit higher. And this thing can it can go straight up because it's basically just an ICBM with wings. It's not a uh, there's not a lot of drag. Oh, well, maybe there is. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm playing a video game. <laughs> so who knows? What's what? Okay. Let's try this again. I'm trying to... You know, you should be able to navigate without even looking at this. You should be able to just do it just purely by using a... thing to do. I'll keep going. Alright. You know, if we can just get to 180. I think that's... No. Is that what we mean to do? I think so. Maybe not. <sighs> Come on. That's gonna put the throttle down a little bit. see if that helps. Kind of wobbling all over the place now, though. So this is not really good. We're not really going the direction we want to be going in. And we're losing lots of altitude. just want to be able to land. That would boost my confidence a lot. Well, if we really want to land, we need to really do it quickly here. I don't think I've left myself enough room. I think I've left myself enough room to crash land right now. Come on. Keep going. Ooh, jeez. That is not where we want to be. Come on. Yeah, this would probably be a little bit easier with the joystick. Uh, well, we'll land near the runway. Or we'll crash into it. Let's see if I can just make myself kind of stall. just try to land and then call it a day. want to get that land speed nice and low. We gotta be straight here too. That's much too fast. As long as we stay, keep the sky just above the horizon, we should not land until we're ready. Hopefully we won't 
install either. Okay, I guess that was slow enough. It still seemed quite fast to me. Um, I'll just put the brakes on. <laughs> Looks pretty cool for a piece of crap airplane. But, you know, that's proof of concept. If I can do that, then it's only a matter of time before I'll get to the moon, right? Anyway, that's all I'm going to show you guys today, but uh, if you bother to watch this, then thank you for watching, really appreciate that, and uh, um, maybe I'll decide to do another one of these one day, depending on how far I get with this game. Uh, see you next time, bye bye.